Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to address a couple of things in regards to the gaming on Linux. Uh, when I was presenting a couple of years ago, I think even in the last video, videos ago, um, I did present uh, some footage while I was gaming. And people were saying the gaming was shuttering and Linux is not ready. As you can see, there is no shutter whatsoever. I did say back then that I screwed up some settings because I did went ahead and uh, wanted to do some uh, some you know changes to the engine support. Uh, but here's the thing: um, the game was shuttering because I was I was uh, switching between Windows and full screen. So I'm playing on Windows. When the game starts on Windows, it shutters a bit. But then if you change between full screen again and Windows. This kind of makes the problem goes away, so no biggie there. I also disable the, uh, you know, uh, the frame, uh, I'm sorry, the um, V-Sync. So, save, yes. Well, we should see very good performance anyway. I'll just test it. <clears throat> So yeah, um, I guess at the end of the day, you just need to, you know, for around a bit with the settings, see with what. I'm also using a Proto Experimental Engine, which uh, I'll show you again at the end of this uh, small little session, how to, you know, set it up. It's not too much of a big deal. Can I do it? You see, no shattering whatsoever. There you go, 70 frames per second sometimes, as you can see in the corner. And it's really no problem. Who said you can't game on Linux, huh? And with extreme good performance. Not, not to mention the CPU is just barely 22% uh, active, active or loaded, whatever you want to call it. There you go, my friend. Works. I may die here, but that's no problem. Because In a moment. Yeah, we don't have uh, our resistances capped to maximum for the uh, flames in generally, so this is an issue. But let's fix this quickly. So, anyway, works, my friends, works. Um, I've tested in the meantime a couple of other games, so I wanted to see. If this is a problem only with this game or towards other games as well, but no, it, it was actually some settings uh, that didn't work well with uh, uh, with uh, um, Part of Exile in particular. Let's see anything else here that we may want to take. We okay, want to take this for the credits. There you go. I can also level up. I've also increased the idealizing to maximum, so why not? Do you see any problems? No, I see no problems whatsoever. The game looks beautifully, and it works as such. We need to move maybe in this direction. Yeah. Now look at this effects one. And you tell me we have we have a problem with the computer. No, not really. I look here, open system monitor. I, I just wanted to also see this again, it's just eleven gigabytes of RAM and the CPU is you know barely struggling in any direction. It's beyond hilarious. I never saw on Windows this good numbers. 
to be honest. At the height of you know, Windows 10 version and then uh, you know with 11 it kind of got even more hilarious and stupid. And you can see also the GPU, it's not even, you know, sweating. I mean, if I open uh, GPU viewer, so I can uh, have a look. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Nvidia, what am I doing? This one, because the GPU has some problems, uh, the, the GPU viewer. Um, Okay, here, all the things is high performance as well. Is an anti aliasing, other information that you want, thermal settings 59 and 60 uh, uh, Celsius. To be honest, on Windows, when I was pumping the game to the maximum, uh, I usually I was seeing 63, 67, around there, sometimes even more 70. It depends on what I was doing, but with the exact same game, so. Again, Linux is kind of beating this. Um, you don't need to take my uh, you know, my word. Uh, you can test yourself. I mean, it's early at this point in time. It's your duty to test it. You know, let's enjoy for a moment the fact that this actually works. I'm not up to that just yet. Yeah, some people might say, yeah, but this is not heavy, you know, duty, 3D, whatever. These are pre-rendered effects, blah, blah, blah. No problem, I'll, I'll launch other games as well. I'll present uh, as soon as I install uh, more games. Because right now I kind of uninstall uh, most of them due to uh, not having a uh, very large uh, SSD drive. Yeah, works. Hey, okay, don't block me. Mister. These little buggers. Quite difficult to overcome sometimes. Funny is it is the mini bosses are uh, <laughs> a lot of the time uh, more difficult to kill than uh, the normal bosses. So I'll just, uh, you know, skip them. Let's put tons and tons of effects here. Imagine how many calculations the GPU and CPU have to run. And as you can see, there is no shutter whatsoever. Whatsoever. And I'm also screencast recording this, so... No problem there either. See, recording and this a friend of mine. <laughs> yeah, nice. Let's see, are we finishing this uh, now? We're going to the bosses. I want you to see how this kind of goes in here as well. Um, yeah, cool. Um, again, as I said, no shutter whatsoever. As you can see, the game is fluid now. Works. We have no problem whatsoever. Tons of effects as well. Um, I can also add uh, a few more effects on top of it. You can also put uh, like you know, this. What else do I have to put? This part. And I can even take my usual pets with me. Let's take the uh, this guy. Again, no problem. And look at this uh, level of detail. As you can see, the anti aliasing quite nice, nicely done. And it, it brings all the best within this game. So you cannot possibly tell me that uh, you know gaming on Linux doesn't work. But um, I want to show you now 
or the steam actually where is steam is so uh, i can move the here okay cool so if you go to steam settings <clears throat> uh go down to compatibility and then you you need to activate this and then uh i said play between uh whatever is the uh one that's going to be there in this case uh, is proton calculus and switch in between different versions and see which one goes better for you for me proton experimental goes just as well let's try the other one because uh, it should work just as fine of course if you change this it's going to ask you for uh for you know um, uh, to actually restart the game now because i did uh, made some changes recently uh and and went back to proton experimental when the games load they need to uh, re-render the vulcan uh, shaders it's not doing this all the time it depends on the updates but it's fairly a very fast process and it doesn't really takes a lot of your time uh this is a bit more intensive of course in process as you can see here because the cpu needs to to address this part but other than that it's just like you know the usual stuff yeah now let's let's have a look in the in the system uh, okay too late so it's all done yes now it should have the uh proper launch game so i'm gonna launch this one as well what already running yes it is already running thank you <clears throat> um now this game is like a proper fully 3d uh game uh with tons of uh, physics uh, within and i'm also running uh at high uh level game i mean it doesn't struggle either uh, usually when i play this game i i cap it to 60 frames per second i don't mind uh sometimes i'm just going uh, i'm just you know uh changing this to uh 74 the maximum refresh rate that my screen is able to uh to provide i'm just gonna run with this i just wanted to see um how this uh performs in here as well Uh, now in, in December and November, I'm actually kind of waiting to play uh, a few more games. I kind of have a lot of them within my library. If I am to look at my wish list, uh, last night, Rebel Galaxy, so forth, so forth. Even some uh, hardcore stuff like uh, Indiana Jones, uh, Path of Exile 2, and many, many others. But we are within the game no problem i want you to see in my settings i'm just gonna show you that it's actually high quality so <laughs> that's the uh foremost thing um i have vertical synchronization uh in my case back to game so let me just uh, you know uh, do one of these uh, battles um why do i play in windows uh, in window mode well uh for me it's better for my eyes in generally i just want to also see if uh, anybody cares to answer my questions or maybe who knows i have some discussions on steam uh you know things like that <clears throat> um and usually i have multiple windows open at the same time that's why i'm using uh the window mode for me works it's you know nice to have it there you go as you can see here the cap rate it's uh 74 76 i'm running a uh 3060 uh rtx nvidia series so it shouldn't be anyway a problem for this uh to run Either. Let's see.
No shattering whatsoever. The game is very fluid. Let's see where's this guy spotting here. Somebody else. But too late for us to shoot it. Shoot this guy. Yes. We can also shoot this guy. Mostly. One more here. Hello, gentlemen in the back. Yes. But uh, my aiming is horrible. However, what are you doing my friend here? What are you doing? Let's then uh, discuss face to face and closer. <laughs> yes, we're getting pounded by whom? Somebody, somebody from there. Yeah, so it's uh, it's gaming on Linux a dream? No, it's not. If we want to say something else, it's a dream come true. And it works. Um, in my opinion, I think there is no reason at this point in time to ever go back to Windows. Uh, let's see if we can uh, shoot this guy. No, not really. We're not able to, but we have one more option and now he kills us but anyway um the nice part as you saw no struggle whatsoever on the system uh, regardless of the settings that i'm doing um as a general note i don't like to play games on you know 100 frames per second, 150, whatever the heck numbers people come up with these days. I'm not playing extremely competitive in any kind of manner. But I think uh, for anybody else, and probably 95 to 98% of all of us, having a frame rate beyond 60 frames per second and up to 70, it's more than adequate and has an excellent, uh, you know, um, an excellent. Um, uh, delivery uh, of uh, an excellent experience delivery is what I'm trying to uh, to say I haven't got this ugly tongue I'll show it in a moment it's probably one of the ugliest in the in the game but uh, I managed to to get it in the past couple of days there was an event so I did play I mean look at this details man I mean it, it's fluid nothing wrong here it's very good I like it um that's how uh that's how linux gaming work um i haven't done beyond this any kind of other settings uh i do want to remind you there is this application which you can use um sorry it's proton plus uh once you install it uh you can set up for lutris bottles heroic game launcher uh, the kind of engines you want to run and this is what usually gets your games uh going so with this in mind i'll i'll see you guys uh, on the next one thank you